guys, Fleek, Zach and Lucy here today. Welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Balmain. So guys, this is actually our second take at this. I set everything up as a pro and then realized the battery died. So I was like, ah, god damn it. But we're here um, and happy and we wanna get going. So today, we wanted to talk about um, is German Shepherd temperaments. Alrighty guys, so German Shepherd temperaments can vary, but um, depending on whether you get a show line, Western show line, a working line, and the different types of working lines, some are quite different to each other. But in general, um, I'm gonna give you like the definition of what a German Shepherd temperament is from directly from Google. So, you know, I didn't make it up. Um, so over here, I'm gonna have, I've got my little computer, I'm gonna go and read it straight off the bat. So, German Shepherds are easygoing dogs. They are fearless, direct, and confident. Yes, I agree on that. Early socialization with other dogs, people, and different environments and sounds, super important. German Shepherds are natural protectors who are very vigilant, will alarm their owners, uh, will, will, heaps good at reading. Um, German Shepherds are natural protectors who are vigilant and will alarm their owners of strangers or intruders on the premises. 100% agree on that. Particularly the postman. Particularly the postman. We've got one postman man, a little Asian man. I don't know, what, what is it? You just, he's such a lovely guy, but Lucy, you, what, what, what? I, don't, I have no idea. Anyway, um, if an owner invites a person into the house, the German Shepherd will accept it, very accepting, and once they realize they're not on threat, they're just like more than happy. Pretty much most of the time, I agree on that. Lucy, don't touch a keyboard. And German Shepherds are very loyal, um, but they need correct socialization with family, um, and they're great with kids. So this is pretty much straight off google.com. The first thing is gonna pop up. Um, I just wanted to see what it says, and yeah, I agree with all of that as like a general overview. But what we're gonna do now, guys, is give you our experience over the last two years, pretty much we've had Lucy for two years now, she's just, she's just over two years old, um, on bringing up Lucy. So we're gonna go from, got it all written down here, we're gonna give you temperament from three to six months, six to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, and then 18 to 24 months, which pretty much takes us up to now, and tell you about the temperament changes that she had over those blocked periods. So, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so Lucy's temperament um, for the first block, so three to six months. We, when we picked up Lucy, she was a very confident little puppy. Um, she kind of ran up to us when we first went over there, like picked her up and she was like super confident. She didn't run away. And then when we brought her home, I felt she was, again, very confident. Um, not super trusting right at the start and very inquisitive. Didn't, wasn't afraid of anything. Wasn't afraid of anything from the very start. Wasn't afraid of like learning how to crate train and stuff. Wasn't afraid of other dogs at the park. She would just charge straight up to them um, and things like that. She was a very confident little puppy. What were your dad in there? <laughs> I just remembered um, the day we went to pick her up. We met her and then the day we picked her up and we got there and she'd escaped out of her yeah. little head and, <laughs> and, she kept, and the breeder didn't even know yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'd pull up in the car and great. she's just like running she's around. Zoomies at the front so and then as we got out, she should come charging like very towards us. inquisitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she wasn't <laughs> fearful at all. She was like, who are you? I'm Lucy. Um, but yeah. yeah, definitely when we first started going to the park, she would go up to any dog, no matter yeah. what, even though she was quite tiny and any child mm, at all mm, um, mm. and another thing I noticed at that point was very independent she like yes. we could be just sort of hanging out in the house and she would be just playing with her toys on her own like in her room or outside mm, mm. and very very happy to do that yeah that's actually something I found very quite strange because like I was oh, I had friends and things at the time I had puppies and stuff and they were telling me like how needy their pup was but mm. Lucy um, from, yeah, as, as a new puppy, pretty much like 10, 11 weeks old, she was very independent. Like after a couple of days, she was out the backyard with her stuffed animals, doing her thing, and you poke your head out and she'd just be like, what? 
like this is, this is me. So I think we didn't realize, but we had a few people over at that time who actually commented on that, and we were like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah because it was just normal to us being our first dog. Exactly, and exactly. And then we're like, oh, yeah, she is. So yeah, um, and I think that made the transition of then us going to work quite easy. Quite easy because she's very happy to play on her own. Yeah, 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 and. I felt at that time period, um, obviously we don't have kids, so I actually utilize the time. Yes. Yet. <laughs> Can we just get a second dog? Um, so we we utilize the time. There's a little school just up the road from us, so for the first couple of like weeks, I was actually taking Lucy up to the school as a tiny little pup and just having the kids like just pretty much ravage her, pulling her ears, just poking her in the eye, whatever, you know, poking her butt, I don't know, whatever kids do, um, and she, she, she actually really, really loves kids, like, she would, she would never nip or anything like that, um, and just, you know, obviously that early, because uh, that, that three to six month period is so, like, it's so vital, like, whatever you do to that pup is kind of going to portray the rest of their lives, kind of, thing. very, they're very impressionable, so, um, yeah, just exposing her to as many things as possible in that three to six month period. Obviously, we expose her to everything all the time, to be honest, and we, we don't stop doing that, and like, but it was crucial at that stage. Um, alrighty guys, so the next part of this is six to 12 months. So, we stopped using the dog walker pretty much right on the six month-ish, part and we implemented we started this is when we started really doubling down on Lucy's training and this is when we invested into Lucy's dog trainer um, who pretty much trained me it's not about training dog training is not about training the dog I think it's more about training the retarded person who's in charge of the dog which that was me at the time um, and that was master of puppies amazing guys shout out to them uh, we wouldn't be where we are without them to be honest set you up with the tools for life um, cheeky plug but I noticed so one of the reasons why we stopped using the dog walker is because this dog walker in particular was quite a free, no structure, free you know, range. Free range, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm all about free range, free range chickens and stuff, but like she, it was a little bit too free range and Lucy was almost giving us a bit of attitude and almost like, I don't have to listen to you kind of thing. So, and the kind of training that we do and the structure that we want with Lucy, like it's, it's very down the line, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want one of, you, essentially you don't want one of these guys when they're all grown up telling you what to do because they have these thing called teeth. Big, big teeth. Big pearlers, big pearlers. Can you show them your big pearlies? Yeah, big pearlies. And yeah, you don't want to get wrapped around with those. So yeah, that's, that's kind of that, the six to 12 month part. Yeah, in terms of how she was at home, she was obviously like absolutely fine to stay in the backyard, but we did mm. notice little things at that point. That's when she was going through that very puppy phase of nipping um, us and, and say people when they came over and just literally bouncing off the walls if someone came into our house, like one of our friends. Um, and at that stage too, we were noticing when she was having long days in the backyard, um, she was digging the whole oh, man. backyard got um, <laughs> turned upside down and we rent. Like a cyclo. Um, and she did start chewing um, the back door and like where the back stairs are, there's wood there and she started chewing that. Um, and that's like the worst she's done. She never sort of like chewed any of like our, you know, our things or our furniture or anything like that. It was definitely to do with those long days. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried to give her these nice sort of um, outdoor beds and a kennel and things. She just tore those to pieces. Trashed it. Absolutely, Absolutely trashed trash. it. I feel like we went through about six different beds out there. And yeah, like, yeah. You know what? Not happening. Yeah, um, so it's quite a naughty kind of temperament shift for yeah. her at that stage. And at the time, um, it felt like it was quite ongoing, but we look back now and it was honestly such a short period which we overcame with, with I think, with her training, discipline, yeah. and um, and also just maturity. And then that's when you really stepped up her, her morning walks and not only making sure that she was physically, she'd had that workout, but also mentally. Yeah. And then that's when I think we started to notice that big shift because then she was literally just sleeping all day. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Upped, um, really upped that training because she was obviously just bored and wasn't stimulated enough. Yeah, yeah. And we also realized that we didn't have enough toys for her. Like we had quite a lot of toys, but then mm. we just went on this big mm. 
toy spree of those super duper can't chew through it toys yeah, yeah. Um, spread all over the backyard and that yeah. made a huge difference it did for it us. did yeah and I, I definitely think flick now that the the training at that point that six to twelve months part pretty much every day was just I'd probably spend like an hour a day like yeah yeah probably an hour a day and then like an hour walk and that was every day yeah. no matter what rain hail or shine and in that we also got her into dock diving and swimming as well yeah so and that helped too 100 percent. and kind of fast forwarding a little bit but like with all that training allowed us to also teach her other stuff mm. like posing for photos and all that crazy stuff that she's known for with her instagram and, and all that cool stuff so like learning the basics well with a good dog trainer will set you up for the long term mm. and a massive thing for us too was when she went through a real naughty kind of temperament shift um that like six to six month period it was only for really a few months then and she, yeah. she started to get really good by 12 months um she like not being able to like punish her not being able to not even know because you can't look once you it's once it's done it's done if you don't catch them in the act there's there's no you, you can't punish them it's like you can't do it they have no idea what you're doing it for and a, a good thing for us was learning how to correct the dog uh which, which was massive because you could you could get those behaviors you didn't want out of them um correctly humanely um She's grailing at me. She must have known what the circles were. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. So yeah, and that and that was a massive thing as well. To one thing is catching them in it, but the next thing is also correcting the behaviour and and you, you far out. Like you, you want to know how to do that stuff properly um, because there is a fine line as well. Um, yeah. So that was pretty much six to 12 months and in amongst all that we still had a great time like there was lots of exposure like so much fun the the the, the good outweighs the bad a thousand percent like um this is just kind of being real you know what i mean like you can look at lucy's instagram and it looks like a perfect life from the day we bought her home to to today you know what i mean like it's just and that's what instagram's about you only show the highlights right like let's be real about it no one's going to show you you know the the back door that's all chewed up you know i specifically left all those photos <laughs> on the camera roll um, so yeah like it is what it is um and you're kind of learning on the fly as well and i think if you can't adapt with the dog and put your needs second don't get a german shepherd 100 percent. do not get a german shepherd get a goldfish you'd be sweet so that pretty much sums up well and the nippy that time the nipping was bad, it was really bad. So again, we helped get rid of that. Um, but she was pretty much like a land, like a piranha or a land shark. It was crazy. And like yeah. teeth man just and it wasn't bad at all. It was just like wasn't it? It was just, just excited, excited nipping. Excited, yeah. Just yeah. super excited. So yeah, anyway, and then coming up to the 12 month mark to the next section anyway, section three. Temperament is 12 to 18 months. Pretty much once you hit 12 months, mm. it's almost like she stopped all that it just like it's like it went away overnight uh, yeah it's like it probably didn't but now i look back at it it's just like yeah, it just stopped yeah. one day yeah so pretty much and again nothing stopped you know the training's the same the walks the same so she probably gets an hour to an hour and a half of walking a day and two probably like an hour of training a day now now it's we're in such a routine it's so second nature where i can do all this sort of stuff in like one session or multiple times a day or even in the house like it's just life now but at yeah. the time getting used to it was was different yeah um, it felt really like quite time consuming yeah because be like we're pretty so selfish we... people not to say we're bad people but as in like you know we're well we don't have kids. we're late 20s we early thing. 30s yeah. no kids you know and, and things like that um and we live in the city and we kind of do what yeah. we want you know what i mean like yeah and, and we're both doing you know, multiple different things work-wise yeah 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 but you know, when you get one of these, it's literally, you might as well just knock out a kid, to be honest, bust out a little kid, baby, or something. Um, anyway, so the 12 to 18 month, <laughs> <laughs> the 12 to 18 month part, so we had Lucy's first birthday, yeah. and it was almost like, yeah, a big dynamic shift overnight. What Huge. would you say that the character traits were that you noticed from the 12 to 18 month part? Well, all the things that we just talked about just seemed to literally go away 
from literally like her first birthday. Mm. Um, she just really chilled out. Um, obviously still getting excited by things, but the nipping went away and the chewing and the digging and all that. Um, and she just went into more of that. I think when that's when we started to see that more protective side mm. of her. Mm. We are mm. so blessed that she's not a barker and she never Thank has been. Because yeah. we are in suburbia in Sydney. Yeah. Um, and I, but she seems sort of more aware, like this is my backyard, this is my house, I've got sort of, I've got a job. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Plus she seemed a lot happier to stay home and just, you know, sleep and chill out during the day. Um, and, you know, didn't seem concerned at all by that. Um, and yeah, just, just chilling out, I think. She really started <laughs> to mellow out at that point. Yeah. Um, like, it was interesting, she really started to mellow out um, kind of yeah, at home and in the backyard as, as Flick said like eight hours pff, sweet I'll snooze the entire day no more destructive behavior interesting she was never once destructive inside the house never, never. Ever. it's almost like I think she thought the backyard was hers like a chew toy and she could do whatever yeah. she wanted to it inside she, like we can leave her inside rainy days or sort of stuff she'll just sleep on the couch 100% nothing will be touched um, and that even was even from about a year ago. During backtracking during that phase where she was doing stuff, she a few times she pulled washing off the line, but oh, she yeah, didn't right. chew it. Yeah, but she didn't chew she it. She created it was this pile and she just sat on top of it. She and I got took, home and she's sitting there on top of it. She just took the washing but off still, the line. It's like she almost knew not to. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You, you were. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I we we noticed she was super mellow at home and just like she would just sleep all day. But then when we go for our walks and stuff, and this is like when we really started to see her prey drive come out, like yeah. far out, like her, like just, she just wants to train and attention yeah. is on. And just run and. Run and just. And was, like she's got no like point of exhaustion. She yeah, just wants to there is nothing. going and going and going. And her ability to like work, train in the park was crazy. And she went from this shift as well, from like wanting to play with all the puppies and that, to like, she doesn't want to bar of no. anyone apart from mum and dad, okay. training, or other German shepherds. She loves like playing with other German shepherds. She ignores. She'll ignore them. She won't be nasty to them, but say if someone wants to play with her that's not a German shepherd, or if it's interrupting one of our training sessions, she'll just she'll literally just ignore them, and it's freaking cool, man. I'll throw up a little video. And it's funny because you see the people with like their little fluffies that are like they see her and they have that German Shepherd stereotype and they yeah. like you know pick their dog up. She's not even fussed. She's not even looking. She wouldn't even Absolutely waste their time. Looking. Like she and honestly. And it's quite funny to then see that person's reaction of like oh. Oh, okay. No, they're not going to eat me today. Yeah, no. Okay. Pretty much. It's almost like Lucy just knows, look, you're at the bottom of the food chain. You're not even worth... You're just going to bark at me. You're yeah. not even worth my time. Like, literally, like, go peasant, little peasant dog. It's literally like that. It's like that. Um, and all she cares about is you and the ball. Yeah, she just wants to train. Literally, I'm talking like all, all this really cool stuff and she's just so sharp. Like, it's crazy. Doesn't matter who's around, what's going on. Mm. Um, it's just go, 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 She's go. She's still really fine with kids. Like, kids yeah, come up to her, kids pat do, her, play with her. We had a whole bunch of kids the other day playing with her. She's, she's a spectacle in the park because she's TikTok famous. <laughs> and, and they, they just love it. They all come up and play with her. And oh, make they her love speak. It. Cool Can we play the ball? And yeah, and yeah. I feel really comfortable letting them do that. Like, yeah. I don't have any concerns at all. Yeah. And You right? You right? You don't look very comfortable. Um, let's move on to 18 to 24 months. This, That's where we're at. This is when I think Lucy and Flick, in my personal opinion, yeah. really developed their bond. We took a little bit longer. You girls took a bit you longer. you and her, it was like instant. Best buds. Inseparable from the start. Um, we, we took a while, but not in a bad way. We just to bond. Yeah, yeah, it took a little while, you know, it took a little while. Like, there's another woman in my life now. So, yeah, so pretty much, I think from the, the this is this is pretty much the funnest part we've had so far, and the most um, free. Yeah. Like, it's like now, Lucy, okay, hang on, you're just sitting a bit weird. Come on, sit up. Now I feel like it's like we can just do anything, go anywhere. Yeah. 
she listens to every single thing we do and even if I, I'm you're not there and yep. we say go for a walk I'm so confident because she listens to me now with absolutely everything yeah, yeah. you did the hard work and I reached sort the of reached the benefits <laughs> which so, is fantastic yeah yeah so like with all of her training and stuff like everything's led up to this point now, the 18 to 24 month stage. So the, the six month period we've been in, like I'm talking like she's so sharp, super like just dad, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do for you? Like when we're walking in the park, wherever, we, we take her everywhere in the city. Um, and it's not like we're just running around a small town. Like, this is Sydney, man. Like, we live like in the CBD, like it's busy. Um, I do off lead walking with her in the city. She will listen. Um, it's really cool in the park swimming at the beaches just going for walks even up in the mountains and stuff where it's quite dangerous up there like she's super she will just listen and do what she has to do it's really good so you're completely in charge which is awesome um and she's kind of stepped up the security in the house again i think yeah. like to like next level again she's not a barker lucy and it's that's odd because german shepherds are quite barkers but if she, because she's exposed to so much noises, like our pretty much our front door is onto the like a busy footpath, and there's probably hundreds, if not yeah, hundreds of hundreds of people a day walk past our house, and the city is like five minutes away. Um, but she, so she's like, if a German shepherd wasn't brought up in that environment, they'd just be barking and freaking everything because it, it is noisy. But Lucy's so like accustomed to it, doesn't none, none of it bothers her like yahooing and bottle smashing and fireworks, all that shit's like a common thing here. Um, but if she hears someone open the latch to our gate, <laughs> her bloody, her, um, she just not not loses it, but she, she just starts a little growl. She just starts like, this <laughs> crazy growl, and it's not a. It's not like a little girl. It is. It is like you're like a wolf, like about to kill its prey. Like it is like you don't know what you're stepping into here, guys. Like I will f you up. Not that she would. <laughs> but, and it's but, funny because it's things that we often can't. We can't hear. even like, hear. We we'll have the TV on or something. Yeah, yeah. And then she starts growling, and we're like, oh, what is it? Like, yeah, what is yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, and if she's barking, it's pretty much there's someone in the house. Yeah. Like. So that's really, really good. So, um, so she's like, yeah, really stepped up the security and she's super switched on the training. And then I think like, and that's made our lives way easier for like, cause we like to do a bit of traveling with Lucy and we're going to do more of it and taking her more places. And we do already do like kind of interstate kind of stuff and all the little states in Australia are the size of countries anyway. So like that, we do like massive road trips and things with her, but we want to start doing maybe eventually like international travel with her. Um, I think the first thing would be like a road trip around New Zealand would be like a good tester. <laughs> and it's only two hours on a plane. Um, and things like that. So everything's led up to like her temperament now. So extremely confident, extremely vigilant. Um, yeah, mm. like I'd, I'd say. And in the last 18, oh, sorry, the 18 to 24 month, Part is where like yeah, Flick and Lucy have really built their bond. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You guys we have that deep level bond now. Very deep level bond. So, alrighty guys. So that is pretty much where we are up to. We are up to now, um, and you can kind of follow the whole journey on Instagram because it's documented like day by day. Only highlights. But so that pretty much did that. That, that, that brings us up to now. So that's pretty much the first two years of having Lucy. And that's just like her temperament shifts um, and kind of like what we went through. It may be different for some people, but like I think it, from what I've heard with other people, it's kind of very similar. Um, yeah. Sums it up. Pretty much sums it up. <laughs> um, anyway, we, we will do another review on temperaments. Two years time? Yeah. Yep. Okay, guys. We'll book them for that. Make sure you hit post notifications. So in two years time, when we do the, the two to four year review, we'll, um, yeah, we'll, yeah, you guys can jump on and see that. But um, anyway, I hope this you might helps. Have a few additions by then. Two more puppies. <laughs> um, wow, funny. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. If you are looking at getting a German Shepherd, maybe what to expect, or you've just got a new puppy and you're wondering, like, I don't know, like this again, like we're not dog trainers or professional anything in the dog world, um, apart from photographers, and that's about it. But um, 
Hey, I'm a professional dog dad and she's a professional dog mom. But this is just our experience. So it may be different for other people, but hey, at, at the end of the day, it's like what you do with your dog, the work you put in is the work you, is, is what you get out of it pretty much. Like you look at, you know, you, yeah, it's pretty much, you're, you're a reflection of your dog, I think. So the work you put in, the work you get out. And the, look, look yeah, at this, lap this dog. is lap dog. See, look, she knows, look. <laughs> She's, 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 she's very bored. She's bored. But, yeah. but again, you know what I mean? Like chill, <laughs> chill out. Look at this. Just adapting to Adapting any, to any situation. Anything. And like if she didn't want to sit here, she wouldn't sit here. Yeah. Anyway guys, I hope this helps. Uh, we're rambling now. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, uh, pop a question down below. Make sure you send a couple of other videos. The perfect diet, we figured that out, which there is no perfect diet. Um, day in the life kind of stuff. Come along, meet Lucy's friends. And yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say see you, Luce. Say bye. Look, bye. over there.